Hi there, in this video we're going to use SPSS to calculate the correlation, the Pearson correlation be between two variables to conduct a simple linear regression to construct a scatter plot and to overlay the regression line on a scatter plot. We're going to do this using the Detroit data set which has a number of variables measured on the city of Detroit from the years 1961 to 1973. The variables include the homicide rate, the number of police officers per 100,000 uh, population, the unemployment rate, the number of registered handguns per 10,000 people, and the, week, the average weekly income. Now in order to do the correlation, it's quite easy to find. You come up to Analyze and go down to Correlate. Select Bivariate from the Correlation menu, and you're then free to pick any sets of variables that you would like to find the correlation between. So you're free to pick any set of the continuous variables, and you'll be given the correlation between all the pairs. You can select the particular co correlation coefficient you would like, whether that's the Spearman if you have ordinal or extremely non-normally distributed data, or the standard Pearson correlation coefficient. You can also select the test of significance for your correlation and to determine whether the correlation is significantly different than zero as a two-tailed or one-tailed test. We'll stick with two-tailed for now. So you can select OK. We're taken to the output window then, and we're given what's called a correlation matrix. So you can see that all three of the variables that we selected appear in this matrix. And as you look across the rows for this weekly variable, this is the weekly income, you can see the correlation between the weekly income and all of the variables we selected going across the columns. Of course, weekly is perfectly correlated with itself. And you can see that it's uh, moderately correlated with the number of handguns. So the, the correlation, the Pearson correlation is 0.556. Now, weekly income is only moderately, or sorry, it's weekly correlated with the unemployment rate with a Pearson correlation of 0.131. You can then see the significance level with the correlation between the weekly income and the unemployment rate being not significantly different than zero with a large p-value of 0.669 in comparison to the correlation between weekly income and the number of handguns, which is uh, significant at the alpha of 0.05 level because its p-value is 0.049. You can then go to other rows if you want to look at what the correlation is between the variable handguns and the other variables. Of course, the first column, the correlation between handguns and weekly income, is the same as when we look at weekly income and handguns. Of course, defining one uh, variable as an X or a Y makes no difference. But continuing on across the handgun rows, you then see that the number of handguns is negatively correlated with the unemployment rate, but that's not significantly different than zero with this extremely large p-value of 0.915. So now in order to do a uh, regression analysis, you come up here to Analyze, come down to Regression, and select Linear Regression. So you can pick any sets of variables you'd like for a regression, uh, as long as they're all scale, or continuous um, uh, variables, I should say. The key thing here is that for a simple linear regression, you want to identify your Y variable or your response variable, and put that in the dependent box with your explanatory variable or x variable going in the independent box. So let's say we'd like to try and predict the number of handguns from the unemployment rate. So just dragging those two variables to the respective boxes, we'll put the independent variable along the x-axis and the uh, dependent variable, the y variable, or the response, will be predicted uh, along the y-axis. Select OK. There are a number of other options in this dialog box, but for a simple linear regression, this is all we need to do. Come down to OK. And now the output window contains a, a number of outputs related to the regression. The first uh, box just describes that the unemployment variable was used to try and predict the number of handguns. The model summary box gives you the R, which is actually the absolute value of the correlation and the R-square, which, which is the coefficient of determination measuring the amount of variability in the response that is uh, uh, um, described by the predictor. Also, it tells you the uh, amount that your prediction is improved by adding this predictor as opposed to having no predictor at all. In this case, it's actually a very poor model. The R-square is 0.001, but it doesn't stop us from fitting it. The next box is called the ANOVA box, and this measures the overall quality of the regression whether it was uh, including these predictors was significantly better than having no predictor at all. You can see over here by the p-value, a large p-value of 0.915 tells us that including the predictor of the unemployment rate doesn't give us uh, any substantial information about the number of handguns. 
nonetheless, we can still fit the model. We can still find the best uh, line to fit the data. Just doesn't mean that that fit is very good. Nonetheless, here is the coefficients. The, the y-intercept is 570.7, and the coefficient for unemployment is minus 4.33. So we can see that as the unemployment rate goes up, the number of handguns actually goes down in this case. So we can now use these two coefficients and to construct a line and lay it over a scatter plot. Let's start by building that scatter plot. You would typically come down to the uh, selection of models to choose from, select scatter plot, drag that scatter plot to the preview area, and then select the variables unemployment rate to go onto the x-axis and the number of handguns to go onto the vertical to the y-axis. So that's consistent with the way we structured the regression equation. Select OK. And in the output window, we're given the scatter plot. Now, there's no regression line on this plot yet, but it's pretty easy to add. You simply can double click the graph. So it says double click to activate, double click, double left click on that, and you're taken to a new pop up window where you can see just the scatter plot. You can now come up here to the uh, dialog box to add a reference line from an equation. And when you select it, you're brought to another dialog box which gives you a custom equation and it gives you an existing line on the plot. An important thing is that this is not the regression line. This is just a default line that sort of uh, uh, segregates the data into an upper and a lower portion, but it has nothing to do with the regression line other than that it's the same form as the regression line. But we need to put in the coefficients that were estimated from our regression. And remember, they were minus 4.33 for the slope. I know that's the slope because it's multiplying our x, it's multiplying our explanatory variable, the unemployment rate. And then the intercept was 570.7. So once we've inputted the correct uh, regression line, you can then select apply. We can get rid of this window now. And there is our scatter plot with the regression line uh, for these two variables included. Now you can copy and paste this as usual. Simply right click anywhere in the window, select copy chart, and you can copy and paste this into a Word document or any other assignment. So that was correlation, simple linear regression, uh, and putting that regression line onto a scatter plot. If you think I've missed anything, go ahead and add it to the comments. Thank you.